Hey YouTube, hey New World Defenders, how are we doing today? Today, July 5th, 2011, uh, one day after Independence Day, uh, our 60 Seconds for Freedom, uh, I have uh, posted uh, yesterday the uh, video of myself and Nick Boyce uh, participating, uh, didn't see um, as you can see in the video, we didn't come across any other uh, participants. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people out there had said, you know, I feel like I'm going to go out there and be doing it by myself. A good friend of mine gave me a call. He said, I did it, but, you know, like I said, I didn't see anybody. And and that's okay. See, everybody gets discouraged and says, oh, well, you know, oh, I didn't see anybody. You know, I guess it's not working. No, it just illustrates the depth of the valley we find ourselves in uh, and the mountain that we have to climb. Um, you know, I've gotten positive and, uh, and negative feedback. Uh, I've actually had people that saw the video uh, and just flat out asked, well, what's this all about? I don't understand. What are you for? What are you against? Uh, the whole gamut. Um, you know, one, one uh, thing that I want to get across is understand this, okay? I don't have all the answers. Uh, but what I do have is I have uh, a, a, an insatiable desire to do something to uh, perpetuate the awakening that that is going on that we all sense um, one of the one of the, the the key things that I want this video to do is I want to get across the message that it's not about my message okay because my message is stand up for yourself 60 seconds for freedom is standing up for yourself stepping out into the sunshine you know a lot of people on YouTube they come up with really 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 ingenious uh, uh, names for themselves uh, and I appreciate that I mean uh, that's great uh, you know uh, nothing against that I use my name I use my name and you know when people question me friends family they say oh aren't you concerned about you know the wrong people seeing this and you know uh, you know using it against you well if you can use the truth against me if you can use my uh, willingness to want to back the Constitution against me well have at it, okay, because I will stand in any court in the land and proclaim my constitutional rights, um, even if my constitutional rights are against the law, okay? Um, so, as far as that goes, fear not, my friends, okay? The truth shall truly set us free. Uh, the 60 Seconds for Freedom, basically what it's about, it's about everybody out there who knows what's going on is wrong. Okay, who knows that the media is lying to us, knows the government's cheating, lying to everyone, uh, to the Illuminati, you know, to let them know, I'm not buying anymore, okay? I, I see what you are, I understand what you are, and I don't want to participate, and I'm going to spend every breath I have to enlighten as many people as I can to it. But, well, a lot of people want to do is they want to have these big protests. Okay, well, we'll have your big protests. Sell your t-shirts, sell your bumper stickers, sell your flags, rah, 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 and, you know, let me know what happens. Because we had a lot of those back in the 60s, and everybody would say, oh, well, there was a lot of change. Yeah, there was. But are we better today than we were then? I don't think so. Okay? Maybe in some respects we are, but in most respects, no. Nope. Well, no, we're not. And if you think we are, then great. Turn this off. Go back to what you were doing, and sorry I wasted your time. Um... You know, I don't want people to blindly listen to anyone and just do what they say. I want you to understand that I thought about this, okay? Protests cost money. Well, 60 seconds for freedom costs a couple minutes of your time. So, I, I don't know where the financial obligation would be there. Uh, protests are time consuming. You have to travel to where they are, or wherever they are. They go on for hours on end. You know, it's, it's, it's a commitment. Uh, in some cases, uh, an entire day, okay? Uh, 60 seconds for freedom, it's going to cost you three, maybe five minutes to walk from where you are to the middle of the street, stand there for 60 seconds, hold up a sign, maybe use a bullhorn, videotape the experience, and then go home. Uh, you know, so as far as time consuming, it's not. Uh, I wanted to knock down the barriers. And then last, I, we need to, I mean, as many connections as we make on YouTube, we're all over the world, folks, okay? We need to make connections on our street. We need to make connections in our communities, 
okay? And I'm not talking about community centers, and I'm not talking about community organized, uh, uh, government funded uh, uh, activism. No, I'm talking about at the community level, speaking to your neighbors, seeing like minded people for who they are, carrying on the conversation, getting the message across. Um, those were the big criteria for this, okay? And I personally think that, you know, when uh, a, a bigger, uh, larger majority of, of the awakened people realize that, they'll embrace it for what it is. You know, if you've already got plans on a date, I mean, you know, I've been talking about the 4th of July since since March, okay? Uh, the message hasn't gotten out as far as I'd like it to, only a few hundred people. But now we have until Labor Day. Because that's right, folks. I'm going to reset the clock. Labor Day, September 5th. Let's do it again. Okay, 60 seconds for freedom. Spread this message. If you participated and saw no one, great. Tell 10 people. Tell 100 people. Tell 1,000 people. Okay? The bottom line comes down to this. If we do nothing but make videos and complain and write articles and, 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 and make commentary, well, then what is that? At some point, you've got to act. At some point, you have to do something. And I'm not saying we need to rise up at arms and, and you know, attack. But let's do some real simple math here, okay? If we were able to awaken 10% of the population, just 10%, okay? You know what? Forget that. 1%. 1% of the population. We're over 300 million people here. That's 3 million people. 3 million people from coast to coast in their time zone? walk out at noon and stand there for 60 seconds, that's going to draw attention, folks. It's going to draw attention, and it's going to draw attention to all of our issues, okay? Most of us have very similar issues. There are, you know, some minor differences between them, but, I mean, you know, we've got poison in the food, water, and air supply for profit. We have pharmaceutical companies that are making billions of dollars in profit, uh, giving us medications for the very excuse me, for the very diseases and, 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 and uh, uh, ailments that their cohorts in, in the corporate machine ha have caused. So, you know, it, it self-perpetuates. You know, we have illegal wars going all over. We have a, we, the last two presidents have just basically declared war on whoever the hell they wanted, whether they use the word war or not, okay? And this continues to go on. We have, a, we have a police state that's run amok. We have a constitution that basically has been turned into confetti. And all we worry about is who's on American Idol, who's on America's Got Talent, who's on Housewives of wherever the hell. And folks, it's no good. We're, we're all addicted to it, and we need to break that addiction. And 60 Seconds for Freedom to me is just a way of, of spreading... Um, you know, my peace and my love to all of you and say, guys, this is one way. I mean, I don't, I don't know uh, if any of you remember, but they had this thing called Hands Across America, okay, back in the 80s. And it was supposed to be, you know, from coast to coast. People were going to hold hands in communities all over the place, and it was pre-staged and all that. That's all I'm asking for. Well, I, I, that's all I'm saying is if you could do that for a uh, for for a, a charity, okay? Which, by the way, didn't cure anything, okay? Uh, and most charities do a little homework. Seventy-five to eighty-five percent of their proceeds are used for administrative fees. So when you donate that ten dollars, just realize only about a dollar and a quarter of it's actually going to the charity and the rest of it's going to line the pockets of the people who were smart enough to dupe you out of the money and skim off the top. Alright? But that's a whole nother video. The the point is, you know, back in the eighties we got people to put hands across America. And all I'm saying is we don't need to pay money into it. We don't need to donate anything but our time. And we can have the same, if not a bigger effect. That's all I'm trying to get at. Um, you know, the negativity. Hey, guys, you, you want to bash me? Go right ahead. Knock your socks off, all right? If that's, if that's going to help perpetuate the, 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 the message, then knock your socks off. But if you want to take a few minutes and you want to realize, hey, you know what? Simple idea, non-corruptible, nothing to it. 
okay? I try to keep it that way. Check out the Freedom Father channel and you'll see what I'm all about. Keep it stupid simple, don't let deception get in, and we're all in this together. We have a vested interest if we care about the future of not only this country but of the world. You know, they've got a stranglehold on us, but we still have the self-defense moves to get out of it. But we have to make the move. We have to do something. And if that means standing in the street for a minute, you know, and, and trying to connect like-minded people, hey, that's better than just making another video and hoping for a bunch of views. Okay? Peace and love. God bless the resistance. Uh, check out New World Defenders. Check out the Freedom Father channel. Check out Nick Voice 11. God bless. Have a good one. And remember, September 5th, Labor Day, noon in your time zone, 60 seconds for freedom. Peace and love.